Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy in Chandelar. Now, last week, you know what? Let's not talk about last week. Let's just load the same game and get going. Um, I do remember I lost a lot of cards. Look at that, 56 cards in my deck. So I've got to add some new ones. Let's see, what do I have? Abomination, Acid Rain, Anime Dead, Ashes to Ashes, Banshees, Black Knights, two Blue Elemental Blasts. Okay, that's good. I think this episode I'm going to try to collect hopefully two more Elemental Blasts because I want to go into the Red Castle. What else do I have? Carrying Ants I could work with perhaps. Counter Spells, how many do I have in the deck? Two in the deck, two here. Okay, so I could add a Counter Spell. Although they're not as great in this format. Uh, oh yeah, I need some Dark Rituals. I lost a Dark Ritual, I think. And I lost the Sengir Vampire. That is really painful. That is really painful. Let's see, do I have some Flyers? Um, got the Greed I could play again. I wasn't very happy with it though when it was still in the deck. Juggernaut is kind of cool. I'm going to go for Juggernaut. I think that's a really good one. Mmm, Cabo Ghoul, maybe just fun to play. And I already have 60 cards. Ooh, Lord of the Pit, I could play with the Lord. Hard to cast though, but such a cool card. Shall I play Lord, Lord of the Pit? Let's see, what else do I have? Nightmare, wow. Hey, I have another Psionic Blast. How many do I play? I play with one. Okay, so I could cast another Psionic. Mmm. Could play the hive. The hive makes flyers. The trike is really good. Gotta play a trike. Trike is spell you. Still have the whimsy, scenic poltergeist, willow. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the gobble out, gonna take the juggernaut out, then I'm on 60 again. I'm gonna give this a try. Why not? Let's see if that helps. Uh 15 gold. Wow, that's not a lot. Maybe I can sell. Some cards. I actually want to keep white. Let's see what I can do. I've got an artifact blast, but wait, wait, wait. I gotta sell in villages by 10 for 20. Okay, so I could sell here. Hmm. Artifact blast for 60. Let's take the lance out. Eternal warrior for 50. I lost so much money last episode. That was just Oh, just, just thinking back at that episode. I don't want to sell Mana Clash because it's such a cool card. I'm not going to sell it. It's too cool. Um, okay, that's all the red cards for now. Are there any lands that I may want to sell? Um, let's check out the lands. I don't want to sell Bazaar of Baghdad because I've got plans for that. I can sell the Bayou. 105, that's not a lot. I'm not going to sell that for that little... I'm not going to do it. Uh, strip Mine. Okay, I'm going to buy another Strip Mine. Hey, and now I'm broke again. Awesome. Okay, let's look at the map. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Sanctum, free the Sanctum, and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to the Red Castle, actually. If I'm freeing the Sanctum anyway, I might as well start playing with the Blue Elemental Blasts. Now that I think about it, let's add the Elemental Blasts to the mix. Uh, what shall I take out? Hmm, that is tough. You know what? I'm just going to play with 62, whatever. Um, trade black amulets for any enchantment. I only have one black. Let's try to get some black amulets, right? Let's go up and duel this Hydra. Okay, here we go. Those who challenge the great red wizardess for supremacy. Duel the Hydra. Hey, I get to start. Play first. Start the duel. Okay, fast effects, upkeep phase. Done. Um, I think I'm gonna go island because then I have my blue elemental blasts ready to rock and roll. So I've got blue elemental blast, blue elemental blast, unstable, and lance. I do have a factory. For a little bit of pressure, but this is not the, the best hand, of course. Not the worst either. Uh, let's do the factory. Pass turn. 
And now I've got to stay focused because if he does something funny, power search. Okay, so power search is if I haven't used the lance, I take damage. Hmm, okay. But the good news is I think I can use my factory. And use all the mana. Now I don't take any any damage from the search. I am so smart. I am so clever. Okay, let's change to assembly worker. Okay, Dune, and let's attack with it. So I think this whole plan is not going to work as long as I've got the assembly worker, which is pretty sweet because I can just pump any amount of mana in that assembly worker. Power Search is a super cool card, by the way. You can combine it with Mana Barbs, and then you just take damage for having lands. It's super funny. Um, okay, let's just first use up my last mana, right? Hey, not taking any damage. Oh right, yeah, now I gotta press the Power Search, and press the Power Search. Oh, I got a Tim, that's sweet. Um, let's cast a Tim. I wanna make sure that I don't tap my second blue mana, so I have the um, blue elemental blast up. Ooh, Hydra's losing life. Okay, now I've got a fireball, so I'm gonna blue elemental blast that one. Not taking any damage from the power surges. Let's play an island. I need islands more. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go unstable on the Tim. And I'm going to change this into an assembly worker. Let's do it, baby. And I'm going to attack with the Tim, who's now a 4-4. And, of course, with the worker. So six damage, put him on 10. Let's go for it. Pass the turn. He's not taking any damage because he played a fireball. Discard face. So now, again, I've got to change it to an assembly worker. I mean, this is a lot of clicking, I guess which is annoying. Done, so I'm not taking any damage. So much happening in the upkeep. That's what I love about old school. Like upkeep really matters in old school. Okay, let's do a swamp. Hey, I can cast my Modi. Papa Modi hitting the board. Let's attack with my Tim. This is going really good. Hydra, he's killing himself. This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take the cards. Oh no, did I click on the dungeon clue? I didn't want the, I wanted the cards. I need the money. Oh, whatever. I'm in a good mood. Trade blue amulets for any land. Disenchant, I actually need a disenchant. Oh, I'm at this stage in the game again where I need to start selling cards. Okay, let me, let me think about this. First, let's see, it's, 10 food for 20, so this is an okay village to sell, right? Um, okay, let's see what I can sell. Let's start with the artifacts. Is there anything here? Like copper tablet I can sell for 260, sure. Gauntlet of Might, uh, 115 is not enough, people. Ivory Cup I could sell, although I've already beat the White Wizard, I think. Okay, 65, that's nice. Warmest Bell, I kind of want to keep. Mishra's War Machine, it's pretty bad, you know, I'm just going to sell it. I mean, I love the card, but I need money as well. Rod of Ruin, I've got three of those, but I want to make a Timmy Rod of Ruin deck, so I'm not going to sell that. Um, Throne of Bone, maybe when I'm in a Black Wizard's Castle. Winter Orb, could sell Winter Orb for 175, okay. Um, now let's check out the lands, are there any lands? Okay, so the Bayou, wow, still just a 105? Hmm. I don't like that. I want more. Let's put a strip mine, another strip mine in my deck. No, I'm just going to play with one. I think one is enough. One is enough, people. That's mean enough. I can't believe that the dual lands only give 105. It's just not enough. It's a little bit silly, actually. Oh, I got a motor? That's cool. I got some decent white cards. Um, green, do I have anything in green? Kind of force plant, only 30, drop of honey. Oh, it's such a cool card, I cannot sell drop of honey. 
I can sell Mars 5, but only 10 though. I'm not gonna do that. Let's see, how much money do I have? Oh, okay, I got some money. That's good. Um, let's get the Disenchant, because I got a plan for that. Uh, COP Blue, yes, because I got a plan for that. Island, maybe if I go start playing uh, Mono Blue, who knows? Uh, leave the village. Pay the gold! Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I think we're gonna go to the Red Castle. Why not? Let's just venture into the Red Castle. I feel like I'm, I'm in the mood. Let's do it. We're 10 minutes in, I'm gonna do it. Um, duel the Mind Stealer, sure. Don't wanna lose the Hypnotic Spectre, but things are going well. So I've got Dark Ritual, City of Brass, Dark Ritual, Counterspell, Island, Unstable, and Swamp, okay. So I'm going to play, let's do City of Brass and pass the turn. Unfortunately, I don't have a Sengir Vampire or else I could have done Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Sengir. Eh, man, I said it and it's happening, but I'm actually not going to do it yet. I want to keep Counter Magic open. I'm going to pass the turn. Next turn, I'm going to do it. I really want to click myself here. I just don't want this to go wrong. Because also next turn, I can play the Unstable on the Vampire. And I've got like a 7-7 seven, seven Flyer. That's kind of Lord of the Pit strength at turn 4 that you can attack with. That's kind of insane. Um, I'm actually going to counter this. Not because I'm afraid of it, but I feel like I just want to swing in for 7. Nice. Oh, the Dark Ritual is really good. I can do Dark Ritual. No, then I don't have enough for the Mammoth yet. So let's go Unstable. Let's attack. I really hope I can win a Sengir Vampire back. I used to have four and I really want to go back to four again. It's just so good with the Dark Rituals. Ooh, it's now a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, fair enough. I got a 6-6, six, six, so whatever. Let's just attack. Let's go. And he is blocking. I was hoping for that. So next turn, it'll be a 6-6. Six, six. If he doesn't cast anything to block, I can put an unstable on it and win the game. And this is a mind stealer, so maybe he allows me to choose a card from his deck. That would be awesome. Ooh, a psionic blast. Okay, what I could do here... No, I should do the fun thing. I should attack. Because I wanted to say what I could could have done is um, kill it with the Psionic Blast and attack, but that then it still would have lived, though, because the Sengir was a 6-6, six, six, so it would be on 1. So actually, this is better, I think. Ooh, Call from the Grave. Put a random creature card from a random graveyard into play under your control. Okay. I love the sound effect. Did you hear that sound effect? That was cool. Okay, but I'm going to kill you, Mind Stealer. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, an Hypnotic Spectre! That is really good. I feel like my luck has changed a little bit. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll duel you. I mean, one thing hasn't changed. I mean, I cannot even move an inch without being attacked by these bozos, but... Oh, my hand's really bad. Look at this. Sengir Swamp, just one land. And then I've got Counterspell, Trike, Unstable, Hippie, Sengir. So, oh, that's bad. Hmm. I mean, it's a good hand, but it's bad because of the mana. And I mean, mana is a pretty big deal in Magic, right? You need lands to cast stuff. If I can maybe find a Dark Ritual. Also, the Counterspell is useless right now with two Swamps. Ah, oh, this is not good. Okay, Underground Sea, that's something. Um, Let's do Hypnotic Spectre. Hopefully, Hypnotic Spectre can stick, then I can do Hypnotic Spectre Unstable. It's going to take the damage for now. Let's hope he doesn't play another threat. Or worse, destroy my... Oh man, that's an often troll. Oi, oi, oi! Check out, by the way, I've got really cool uh, uh, videos and uh, tournament report of the often troll cup in Leovard. It's, it's really great. It's awesome. I'll, I'll put a little, little card here, info card. You can click on there. Um, 
Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, let's use this. I'm just going to make it a 5-5 five, five and be aggressive. I mean, maybe it's stupid, time will tell. But I feel like, and I'm dealing 5 damage, and he's losing a card. I mean, that's, pretty, that's good value. Oh, man, this is not cool. This is not good. Uh, I'm not going to block yet, because I think the Mishra's Factory cannot... Um, pump itself yet because it's still a summoning sickness. So I'm just going to take four. Drop to nine. Okay, but I can put him on five next turn. But losing this land is really a problem. This is a problem. Ooh, the problems keep adding up. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, Um, you know what? I'm just going to attack nonetheless. I mean, this is good. He's discarding creatures, or else he would have, you know, played that against me. Let's see how this works. Let's change it into an assembly worker. Okay. Let's block the Urk Raider. And let's pump the assembly worker. I mean, I don't think it deals damage because they're playing the old rules, but let's see what happens. Yeah, exactly. So these are the old rules, like the rules we play by now, it can pump itself and deal damage. Which is in a way kind of insane, like I admit that. Um, wow, I don't think I can attack. Oh man, this is bad, I think I'm gonna lose this. Um, I mean, I'm not dead yet, but if we look at the scenario, I'm on five, he's got four two-powered creatures, so I gotta block two creatures or else I die. Okay, it is what it is. And then I have the choice to make. Am I gonna exchange? I'm, yeah, let's do the factory. Change to assembly worker. Tap one. Done. And then I got a block. So I'm gonna block the Iron Claw Orc because at least then I trade a creature. I'm gonna block the Urk Raider. I'm gonna drop to one. Ah, oh, this is really bad. I knew this would be a tough game when I started with just one swamp. Oh, this is really tough. Got to pass. It's too bad though. Like if I would have had just the kind of a normal draw with the lands, but losing a Neff's disc, yeah, that's not great. It's not the end of the world either, but it's just not great. Um, let's have a look because I think I got Hypnotic Spectre, right? Let's find that Hypnotic Spectre. Let's put that in. You know what? I think I already have all my dark rituals in here. Okay. What could I take out? Um, let's take these out until I reach the the actual castle. Oh yeah, I've been here before. Trade black amulets. Yeah, I just need to find more black amulets. Uh, okay, let's go. Duel the whim. I'm gonna duel. I promise not to change the anti-card, so I gotta stick to that promise to myself. I don't wanna lose this, because there's a time walk at stake. Oh man, that would be really bad. Island, Phantasmal Terrain, Dark Ritual, Vampire Vets, Counterspell, Swamp, Underground Sea. This is a really good hand. I'm gonna go Underground Sea into Vampire Vets, and next turn I can play a Phantasmal Forces. This is pretty sweet. Let's go... Island. Dark Ritual. I mean, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna play Risky. Oh man, Power Sink! That is not cool! I said it, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play Risky and I'm getting punished for it. You know, this is what actually happens in, in real life as well. Where I wanna make the fun plays. But um, yeah, it doesn't always work out. Anyway, at least I got a 1-1-2 to attack with. Oh man, this is a problem. This is a problem. I was really hoping to just kind of hit hit it, you know. Uh, but hey, I still got the Vampire Bats. Let's see how far I get with the Bats, you know. He's not doing much, so. Let's just attack. Put him on 17, hopefully. There we go. Looks like he's got some mana issues. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take the mana issues. Pass the turn. 
So one of the things I could have done here, maybe that would have been better, but I just clicked so quickly, was do Dark Ritual Sengir, so I would keep uh, Counter Magic open. So maybe I'm going to get punished for that now. Of course I'm getting punished for that now, but at least I've got a Drain Life for one I can cast. Okay, you know what? I'm going to cast this Drain Life for one. Let's go. He's tapped out, like he only has the Sapphire, so exactly the shoot work. There we go. Let's attack. In a way, I'm always happy when I make like a slight misplay and I get punished for it, because then you learn from it, right? You're like, okay, I didn't play 100%, so take the punishment. Okay, now I can counter this at least. Um, You know, I'm gonna go Dark Ritual. What, I want to cast the Mamoti. I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. Oh, that's so, that is, this is, oh, this is horrible. Because now, and I lose the Dark Ritual, which, which was my only way to cast the Mamoti. What happened there? Mm. Let's see, let's just cast another Vampire Bats. I'm liking these vampire bats, by the way. I think it's really nice. Whenever I draw them, they tend to do a lot of work. And I think I think the, the opponent, you know, you don't want to get rid of a vampire bats. You don't want to use your removal on a bats. Kind of is a feel bad, you know? Um, just need one more land or a dark ritual. Okay, let's 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 give this a try. Dark ritual. I want to play Mamoti. One, two, three, okay. No, power sink. I just want, oh, I can't. I gotta tap the one. I can't, I gotta cancel. Hmm. Anyway, he's gonna die, so it doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, Blue Elemental Blast! That is sweet! That's what I'm looking for. Any Royal Assassin? Take the cards and run. But I just... <sighs> okay, I'll duel the Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter what? It's so annoying, you cannot read those messages. <sighs> so many matches I gotta play. Select Power and Toughness. Shapeshifter selects. 07, okay. Mm. Oh, the shapeshifter starts with a shapeshifter in play. Okay, that is that is not good. That is not good. Um, I mean, I can play contract. I don't want, I think maybe I'm gonna, you know, lose and I don't wanna, oh God. Look at that, 310. What am I gonna do against this shapeshifter? This is ridiculous. Um, let's go City of Brass, because then at least I can counter. I should have countered this, by the way. I'm I'm just sometimes something's happened and I don't really yeah, I'm a bit sleepy. Oh man, this is bad. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. What's what was the ante again? I forgot the ante. We will just have to wait and see. Oh, I got a time walk. Okay, maybe I can make this work. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna play a contract from below. I know I'm losing, but who knows? Maybe I find something. There we go, give me a new hand. Swamp added to the ante, that's fine. Okay, um... Did I already play out a land for turn? Guess I did. Okay, let's do Swamp. Um, what I could do is Dark Ritual into Hypnotic Spectre and then play a Time Walk. So maybe I can first do a Time Walk. Exactly. Then go Dark Ritual. Then go Hypnotic Spectre. Hmm. 
No, unsummon. Evil wizard. I do like unsummon though. It's kind of cool he did that. Um, so now what I got to do is I got to chump block with the hypnotic specter. Okay, whatever. You know, you got to do what you got to do to stay alive. Who knows? Uh, I can counter this. I guess I, I have to. And now I got a chump. Oh, this is so bad. I got like a 1% chance to win this. Oh, that's great. Okay, at least I can still chump with my factory. Let's put my factory here. But if he animates his own factory, I'm dead. Okay, but of course the unstables work. Okay, that's kind of sweet. Oh, look at this. Yeah, sure. Uh, change to assembly worker. Tap one. Done. Block. No! Oh, actually it works both ways. Okay, I'm happy. For a moment I thought, I thought he would hurt us recall me actually. Then he could have won the game, right? Okay, whatever, man. Um, if I still win this, it's a miracle, by the way. At least I'm dealing damage. So that's a good thing. Of course, he's replaying the factory and okay. Primal clay. Okay, sure. I do like the, these, these decks with a strong theme. I think it's super cool. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it to kind of see if he trades or she trades, I should say. Let's see if she does it. Let's attack. Okay, fair enough. And I'm going to put the unstable on my team so I have a good blocker. I mean, you got to live day by day, right? It's so funny. He could have won if he just attacked with the factory now. What? I didn't block? I wanted to block. Ah, I mean, me and clicking. Me and clicking. The card seller suggests, if you combine this brainwash with the paralyze you already have, you can make your opponent pay a total of seven generic mana to untap and attack with a creature. Whoa, -ho! that is now, that is a forgotten combo. Oh, a cool blessing. I like blessing. I'm actually gonna buy these lands here. And I guess I lost some cards. 59 cards. Okay, let's see what I can add. Oh yeah, I gotta add these, of course. Because I'm going to the Rat Castle. How close am I to the Rat? I'm so far away still, because I keep getting attacked. Begin a quest. Bring us to the Keeper Shamal Sanctum. Oh, this is the same quest as last time. No, 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 I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna get sidetracked. Or should I, should I do it? I'm gonna do it. This will be a full circle with last week's episode. I mean, it's fun to look back at last week's episode. You can see me making a fool out of myself, which I actually am doing all the time in this game. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the Sanctum. Let's do it. So the Sanctum is kind of where I just was. Oh man, there are like people everywhere. Let me first check where the Sanctum is. Yeah, exactly, I gotta go up. And then there's, um, I think I saw a dungeon there. So I think I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna go to the dungeon. But first I gotta duel the Thought Invoker. Man, there's a lot of enemies today. A lot of enemies today. What do I have? Okay, I've got Contract from Below, that's good. Vampire Bats, two Vampire Bats, a Sangir and some Lance. This is a pretty good hand. I'm liking this hand. If I can find maybe Dark Ritual next turn, that would be really sweet. I mean, this really makes me just want to build a deck with four Dark Rituals and four Sangir, just because it works so well. Um, Let's go Swamp, oh, Vampire Bats. 
Let's pump the bats. And let's attack for one. I mean, hey, okay, she's on 23, but still. There we go. Next turn I can play, mm, that sucks. That is not cool. Um, let's go, oh, look at that. Yeah, I could do, I gotta go Dark Ritual Sing here. I know I'll take damage from the Psychic Venom, but I gotta do it. I mean, this is of course the downside of the bats, you know, I don't deal any damage now because I don't have the mana. But I think it's worth it. I mean, she was tapped out as well, so without counter magic, I should just cast it. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's have a look. What could I do? I can play Zephyr. I'm gonna play the Zephyr. Mana short. Oh man, that is not cool. Can I in response? I think I can. But it's cool to see a mana short. I think it's a cool card. It sees a little bit of play. It's like a mini time walk, you could say. And when you combine it with Psychic Venom or with Blight, like there, there are some cards that it works together with quite well. Also with Winter Orb, it's pretty mean. Or, with, or when you play Stasis. So mana short is really one of those cards you want to brew around. And I, I really like the, the art as well. Okay, we got Island. Um... Let's play this. Ooh, a hippie. I really don't want to lose a hippie, but then again, I don't think I will. Because it's looking pretty good for me, to be honest. Uh, let's put this on the Zephyr. Mm. Done. I'm not going to activate it with the Psychic Venom Land. Ooh, tapping. That is annoying. That saves him four points of damage. Pretty close to casting my trike as well. I've got control magic, double contract from below. It's pretty sweet. Okay, that's good. Ghost ship's good. Ghost ship's good. It can block my Zephyr, but I think we're gonna steal the ship. Put the hand somewhere where we can see it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna steal the ship. I'm gonna steal the ship. I'm gonna put one black mana into this. That's it. And I'm gonna attack. Oh, I'm still in main phase. Now I'm gonna attack. Gonna deal eight points of damage. Okay, so hopefully next turn I get the win. Can go to the Sanctum, get the mana link, go up to 16, and then I'm gonna go into the dungeon. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, ghost ship. That is so annoying. Ghost ship is a good card. I played ghost ship too in my uh, Timmy Spellbook deck. Oh wait, I can play a trike. I can win with the trike. Let's do that. I mean, I'm dropping to three, but whatever. I mean, this is a nice way to win. This is the first time I win with the trike here in the game. It's pretty cool. Hey, winning the game. I'm not getting any cards from her? That is just rude. Hey, they're happy. Yay, I got a mana link. That's sweet. Trade blue amulet for any lands. Yeah. Still have the same problem. Um... Wait a minute, if I'm not gonna go into the castle for now, I can take the blue elemental blast out. That means I've got space for something else. I enjoy having space for other stuff. Carrying ants is pretty good. Ooh, I got another dark ritual. Let's just play with four dark rituals. I feel like they're so good in this deck. Um, let's see if we can find a dungeon again. Ooh, the Mind Stealer. I can win control magic. Yes, please. Mind Stealer has mind something? Mind control? Mind... Whatever. Mind Stealer did not take a mulligan. Okay, sweet. Um, I got Swamp for Vampire Bats and some Island Sangue Vampire Psionic Blast. Okay. 
Let's go for it. Oh man, that control magic, that will be so sweet. I hope I can win this one. Oh, he's copied my deck. Oh, that is so annoying when he does that. You know what, let's see if he wants to trade. This is so annoying. I mean, I should be able to play better magic with the deck, right? Question mark. Maybe the AI is going to beat me. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, okay, we got Island. I mean, I could Psionic Blast the bats, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attack him too. I mean, I've got. To, I start with a higher life total, so you know. Ooh, we've got double swamps. Oh, he's not pumping it. That's very clever. Ooh, yeah, I do want to destroy this one. Okay, let's go Swamp. Let's attack him and see what he does. If he blocks, I'm going to pump it. If he doesn't, I'm going to pump it with one and play a Psionic Blast. Okay, so he's not going to block it, okay? I'm going to pump it for one. Deal one point of damage. Sure, sure. Um, I'm going to pass the turn, you know, because it's an instant. I'm a good magicker, so I'm going to wait. Ooh, I'm going to wait till this moment. This is the moment. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. Hit me out of here, son. Oh, man, that's rude. That is rude. Like the vampire. I don't kill your vampire bats, but you do kill mine. That is rude. Um, I think I'm going to play a singer. I'm going to try to gobble up that vampire bats of yours. Ooh, five mana, that's risky. Maybe he has a Sengir too. That is risky. Oh, he does. That dirty. But I've got a plan though. I'm gonna attack with mine. Okay, he trades, sure, sure. I'm gonna play a Sengir. New one. Ooh, that is annoying because I, I have that contestmal forces. Let's attack. Attack first. Ask questions later. Okay, so let's play this hippie. Pass the turn. I'm going to attack again next turn. If he doesn't block the vampire, I can kill him. Ooh, Psionic Blast. Oh, he's playing it on me. Are you... Okay, sure. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, let's attack with both. See what he does. Oh man, my computer. For a moment, I thought like, everything froze. I thought it was going to crash. It has happened before. Um, okay, let's see. He's on six. Uh, he didn't even trade for the bets. Okay. Fair enough. I'm just gonna pass turn, keep my options open. I think I can kill him next turn, but we'll have to wait and see. If he has a control magic, okay, he doesn't, that's good. Um, yeah, let's just attack. See what happens. Hey, he's dead, and I got the control magic. Yes, take the cards, please. I get a duplicate card from the deck. Awesome, I was hoping on this. Shall I take another time walk? That would be kind of insane, right? People were telling me I should get the Mox. He also has a Mox in his deck. Mox Emerald. You're probably right. I Probably when you have this option from purely a game point, you should get the Mox. Then again, I mean, there are just so many other fun things to get. Maybe I'm going to get a Moat because I'm also working on that other deck. Moat and then with flyers, that's also pretty cool. Um, it's so hard, people. I mean, just don't judge, please. I'm just, I'm just a Timmy trying to make the right, right call here. Another time walk would be insane. Should I get another time walk? Play with four time walk? Why not? I'm gonna take another time walk. Can we stop attacking me, please? Oh, 
well, wait a minute. Why am I walking back to the village? I'm just, I, sorry, I was confused after that match. Uh, let's have a look. I've got vampire bats, contact from below, swamp, time walk, Timmy, and an unsummon. Okay. Because I want to go to the dungeon. That's where I want to go. Island. I feel, I, okay, I'm a little bit worried about my computer, to be honest. Um, done, I'm just gonna attack for one. Attack for one, people. Computer seems a little bit laggy, and these opponents have so much life, by the way. I mean, 22, 23, what's going on? So my plan was, of course, to go into the Red Castle. That completely failed. I did save a village. Uh, I did a quest, so I got a mana link. So now I want to go into the dungeon. I wonder... Hmm, you know what I'm going to do? Drain life. No, 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 I want to do contact from below. This is the second time this has happened to me. Oh, man, this is annoying. Okay, it's gonna play. Sure, man, do it. I'm gonna take damage from the giant tortoise, which is pretty cool. Giant tortoise, really cool card, by the way. A 1-1 one, one, who is a 1-4-1 one, one untapped. Pretty good from Arabian Nights. Okay, let's play Zephyr and pass the turn. I mean, I'm on 10 and this hand that I got from the contract is pretty bad, but I mean, at least it's got a lot of lands that I didn't have before and I can play the Not Specter next turn. So things could be worse. Another Venom, that's not ideal. Psychic Venom. So whenever I tap the land that's enchanted with the Venom, I take two damage. A card that goes together, like I said, with mana short quite well. Um, let's go Swamp. I'm just gonna play it if not expect or whatever. Wow, look at that, I'm on six. That is really low. Did it, oh man, it tapped like the worst possible lands for me. I need to start tapping myself. Somebody told me I could turn off like the auto tap, but for some reason, I. it can be handy at times, but yeah, not always. Let's just hope my opponent does nothing and I can just swing in with the hippie and he has to discard or she has to dis discard a card. Ooh, the computer is taking so long. It makes me worried. Okay, island. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Attack. Bay this swamp, not the other swamps. Done and done. Oh no! Oh, the mana short in my combat because I wanted to play the time walk after. Oh, this is so bad. I'm on two now. Am I gonna actually lose this game? I'm on two. I wanted to play the time walk, force him to discard another card, but now, I mean, if only I, I tap one more land with the Venom, I'm dead. And his deck is built around Psychic Venom or her deck or whatever. Oh no, why are you untapping my land with Psychic Venom? You crazy woman. You crazy woman. What are you put? No, 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 This is so annoying. I'm gonna add an island. <sighs> sometimes this game, sometimes this game. Anyway, gotta focus on the positive. 
Trade black? Oh, for any enchantment. I've got two blacks, so maybe now, because what I want to get is another control magic. Yeah, I'll trade. Yes, this is really nice. And I got another time walk, right? So I need to put the time walk in. I need to put the control magic in. This deck is starting to become pretty insane. Hey, another time walk. Yes, please. Okay, 62 cards. That's too many. Um, let's take out the drain life. I feel like the drain life's kind of done its work. Um, or I could take out, let's take out, do I have the boomerang still in deck? No, I could take out the unsummon. Now I've got 60 cards. Or shall I play two counter spell and still the drain? I, I feel like the drain life is pretty nice. Also because I play with four dark rituals. So one drain life might be just nice, you know? Um, I'm gonna leave, begin a quest, defeat the Fungus Master. Ooh, any enchantment. That is tempting, but I, I... The thing is, I wanna go... You know what I could do? I'm, I'm gonna defeat the Fungus Master and I'm gonna go into the dungeon later. So I'm gonna accept the quest. And I'll then go into dungeon last, next time, because we're already playing for like 45 minutes. It's crazy, like... How quickly this game goes. Um, okay, let's go in here. Let's check this out. Ooh. I have to duel you. The evil black wizard. Sure. I mean, I want to duel the fungus master, but whatever. Uh, island, factory, swamp, gin, counterspell, vampire, contract from below. Okay. Let's start with island. Hopefully I draw into another island. I've got counter magic online. Right? Okay, sure, make it a swamp, no worries. Um, at least I play black. Let's go factory then, and then maybe next turn I can attack. I don't want to play the contract yet, because my hand's pretty sweet. I don't want to lose those cards. Let's go swamp, let's go animate, change to assembly worker. Oh, done. Let's attack, I don't know why the swamp's there. And I'm gonna pass. Of course, Zombie Master, that makes sense. Swamp. Um, I mean, if I wait one more turn, draw a Swamp, I can drain life the Zombie Master, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna be patient. I'm expecting him to cast, oh, Unholy Strength. That is not good, another one? Sure, man, just kick my ass with a 6-5 Zombie Master. Oh, and I got the control magic. Okay, I gotta play the contract from below. It is super risky though, because I mean, I need to bring in another anti-card. Okay, an island, that's not too bad. Um. Oh, I got a time walk, but I can't play it. Oh, this is so painful. What to do next turn? Okay, let me think. Oh, man. I'm th I think I'm gonna go Hypnotic Spectre. Um, take six, go to four, and then hopefully double block next turn with the Hypnotic Spectre and the Sengir. And I know it's risky, because I'm sure he's playing with Drain Lives as well, but it is what it is, people. It is what it is. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> this is so risky. Oh man, this is really bad. Because it, it has Swamp Walk, which is really bad. Okay, at least I can now also cast a Time Walk. Oh, this is interesting. Let's do Time Walk. And then I'm going to attack with the fly that at least he loses a card in hand. I mean, maybe it's his key card, who knows. Um, then I'm going to take the extra turn. Which is an island. Okay, that's, that's, that's okay-ish. Um, yeah, this is so risky. The problem, I mean, I should play Psionic Blast here. And kill the Bokrath. 
or wreath, however you, you, you pronounce it. Um, I know I go to two, and then I'm gonna chump, gonna attack with the specter. Why? Because I'm gonna chump with the factory. Okay, uh, pass turn. I mean, you've gotta do what you've gotta do, right? Maybe it can buy me another turn. Oh, of course, yeah, no, sure, take my... Uh... Oh man, more bad news for me. But I'm gonna do my best. Okay. Okay, I've got a Tim. That's at least another chum blocker. Uh, let's go factory. Um, I could go Sengir chump with the factory, chump with the hippie. Um, dang, this is so tough. Like there, there's no good decision to make here. Um, I think I should go Tim first. The reason is that the next turn, um, my Tim doesn't have summoning sickness anymore. So I think that's better. Oh, this is so bad. It is bad, but it's also kind of funny to get my ass kicked by 6-5 Zombie Master. I mean, I gotta, I gotta respect that, you know? As long as I'm alive, I'm not gonna give up. Oh, this Swamp Walker is a problem. She's also a 2-1. I mean, she's gonna kill me, actually. Oh, I can kill. Okay, I know, but I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I don't have enough. I think, I think I can stretch it one more turn. What I can do is I can... Oh, okay, okay, then I can stretch it for sure. I thought he would attack again with the... Um, with the zombie master as well. And I could have blocked the zombie master on the Tim, uh, tap the Tim to ping the lost soul. Oh no, this is the end of the road. I'm not even gonna block with the Tim. I'm not gonna give you that satisfaction. Lost the factory, lost an island. Okay, whatever, man. Gained a swamp though. See what I can buy, a Bog Imp. Check out my mana base. Um, I lost, let's see, how many lands I have? In, anyway, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22 lands. Yeah, I need some more. Do you need like 24 lands, I think? Oh man. Okay, hey, I've got another underground sea. Why is that not in the deck? That's weird. Um, let's check out. Island. 18, 20, 21, 23, 24. Okay, 24, that's enough. Can we stop attacking me, please? I need to find a fungus master. Trade green amulets for red cards. I don't really need red cards. 10 food for 20 gold. That's a pretty good deal. Where is... Hey, I can win an island fish just conicus. That's pretty sweet. I mean, it's a bad creature, but I love the art. Oh, this is a bad hand. Two swamps and only blue cards. That is not good. Hey, finally. Uh, am I going to play the time walk to get some advantage? You know what? I'm going to do it. Because I don't have a second blue. So hopefully I draw into blue card number two. Like island, I mean. Ah, uh, no island, unfortunate. Let's pass. That is too bad. A swamp. I'm gonna play contract. Ooh, an underground sea. That is not good. That is not, I don't wanna lose the underground sea. Counterspell. 
Should have played the Vampire Bats as bait. Ooh, there's a Mana Volt. Are you gonna Volt into something big? A Leviathan. Um, you know what? I can steal the Leviathan. Let's do that because you have islands and Leviathan has island walk. So I'm gonna steal it. Not I've got the unblockable creature. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, sure, dude. Fantastical terrain, my ass. I don't mind. I'm the one with the Leviathan. Let's do Vampire Bats. Let's do Timmy. And let's attack. There we go. I could use another victory. It's been a while. Ooh, Creature Bond. Creature Bond such a cool card. Mm, let's go Factory. Let's Double Pump. Sure, play Siren Skull. I don't mind. I wanted to attack anyway. Ooh, I probably should have animated the Factory. Oh, I just played the Factory, so I still have summoning sickness, I guess. Anyway, um, on five, taking the damage on four. So after this match, I really need to find the Fungus Master. Where is that Fungus Master? Hey, Cyanoglass, let's just, let's just kill, finish the game as fast as we can. Bye-bye, Sea Dragon. Bye-bye, it's been fun. Thank you for calling. Oh, Island Fish just coning us. And a mana short. Ooh, and a blue amulet. Hey, Fungus Master, come here. Tribute for your mercy? Um, sure. I guess not, because I have to play you, because you're, you're my quest, but it's good to read that the Fungus Master is now afraid of me. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Mishra's Factory, Time Walk, Dark Ritual, Phantasmal Forces, Drain Light, Time Walk. Okay. Double Time Walk. That's cool. That happens when you play with four Time Walks, because I'm freaking awesome. Okay, Underground Sea, I'm going to do the play of the day. Phantasmal Forces. And then next turn, I can play Time Walk and I can attack double with my forces. Oh. Yeah, let's pay the upkeep cost. Sweet. Let's cast Factory. Play Time Walk. Let's attack. And then I can play Time Walk again. Oh, this is... It feels like cheating. It kind of is. Let's play Time Walk again. And let's attack again. Pay the upkeep. I'm sorry, Fungus Master. I'm being kind of like not really fun to play with, but I really want to win this. You know what? I'm going to Psionic Blast, and then I'm going to win with the Phantasmal Forces. Phantasmal Forces did 16 damage in this game. Have you ever seen that? 16 damage by one Forces? Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to take the cards. Hey, the people are gr glad you get rid of the Pesky Fungus Master. You were rewarded with any enchantment. Awesome. I think I'm going to go for, um, for Moat. Yeah, the moat's here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for moat because I'm kind of planning to make that other deck as well. So that's pretty cool. Speak to the wise man. I am far older than I seem, young mage. I myself, the spirit of Limdul imprisoned. The artifact in which it is trapped is hidden well. However, I can tell you one thing is certain, that the artifact powers the great barrier. Without it, Chandelar would be open to attack. The so-called spell of dominion that the guild lords seek the power to cast can only mean the destruction of the artifact. Okay, thank you, wise man. Uh, awesome. Great chat. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save the game. And um, yeah, join me again uh, next time because then I am going to go into that dungeon, which is... Shall we have a look? Where is it again? I think that dungeon is right over there, right? So 
I'm going to try to go into the dungeon next time, which is pretty sweet. And for now, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you enjoy this content, by the way, I have a Patreon page. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks. And uh, yeah, check it out. Maybe you want to support me already starts with a dollar a month. So check it out. And um, for now, let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?